Hey everyone and welcome to another video. Uh, I recently bought a kit from Tamaya. It's the 1 12th scale Ducati 900 Mike Halewood replica. Uh, it's an uh, older type bike, it's uh, 1978 I believe, and uh, it's a replica of the one Mike, Mike Halewood rode. Uh, not, too, not too familiar with the man, but I thought it look, uh, looked like a cool kit to build and uh, I'll be doing a quick review for he you here. So I uh, hope you like it. It is uh, it is my first bike build, so I'm 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 particularly looking forward to this one. I'm a huge uh, motor f motorcycle uh, fanatic, so uh, I'll be taking a look inside. Uh, the, we'll be doing a close up of each individual sprue uh, after this uh, unpacking here. And also, this is a little bit of an introduction to a, a mini series I'm starting, where I'll be building this bike, and I'll be giving you a, a couple of updates uh, here and there um, how the build's coming along. I, I'm not, I'm not, I don't think it will be uh, too uh, intense a build. It's it's pretty pretty straightforward, uh, not too much uh, modification and so on. But I think it will be a, uh, uh, I'll enjoy it nonetheless. And I hope you do too. A little information about the bike here. It's um, the engine is a um, 90 degree V twin, uh, 900 cc's, and um, had about 63 horsepower. So it had a, it could reach a maximum speed of around 222 kilometers an hour. It was pretty fast for late 1970s. Also a um, a version was released to the general public based on uh, my, Mike Mike Halewood's uh, bike. And it was a modification on the 900 SS uh, Ducati at the time. So that was pretty cool. All right, enough of the history lesson. Uh, this is actually the my favorite part of the kit here. Uh, axles and screws, uh, which are actually metal, to put it together. So that's a cool feature, and the um, there's different um, uh, tubing uh, for uh, for brakes and wires uh, that you're able to put on the bike. It's a transparent one and a and a black one. And my absolute favorite part of this bike are the tires. Uh, they're uh, rubber tires. And uh, well, I guess we'll look at the springs here. <laughs> the the rear suspension are uh, these uh, two springs. So I'm not sure if if uh, if it would actually work. I'm, I'm guessing it will. Uh, I'm not not sure. Um, but yeah, the uh, the tires. And I will be taking a closer look uh, on all the sprues, including the tires here. But this is pretty cool. Um, I've never built anything like it, so <laughs> I'm easily impressed. Uh, but yeah, I'm looking forward to that. Taking a look at the manual, uh, there's one here in... Uh, well, you got one in Japanese, so not too useful, uh, at least not for me. And uh, the one I'll be using, of course, is the English one. Um, it's a lot of good detail and uh, typ typical to, uh, of Tamaya products, uh, which I really enjoy building. And um, a, a real cool feature of this uh, particular booklet is um, the um, the renderings or the pictures. As you can see, there are uh, actual concepts uh, or actual pictures of the bike uh, you can use as inspiration. So that's that's really cool, and it has uh, almost every angle um, where they they have disassembled a uh, bike, and um, that follows along with the assembly of your model. So uh, let's take a closer look at the sprues here. First up, um, here's uh, a lot of the engine parts and. Um, I got some good detail on the uh, the cylinders here and the carburetors 
That's a lot of detail to uh, to pick out and paint some of the uh, the breaking discs, and also the manual will specify each part translated to the Tamaya paint range, uh, what color goes where. So that's the um, at least uh, for me that's a that's a great feature. And the chain there, and here's the frame comes in two parts, um, looking really good. Yeah, this is looking really good. I'm uh, I'm excited to build it. Hey, look at the uh, chrome sprue here. Um, here, where you have your exhausts and the rest of your um, or your mufflers and the rest of the exhaust system, and also here some engine covers with the Ducati logo on them. It's looking really good. Uh, I do have a little issue here. I'm not sure if I'll be um, painting these or leaving them as they are because um, I really would like to paint them so I could get rid of the uh, seam lines where the, the two mufflers are put together. As you can see there are two parts, two mufflers and each are two parts. So if I don't paint them uh, I can't get rid of the seam lines so we'll see. I know there are, pro there are products that are able to replicate you no know, good chrome but uh, they're not really available to, to me where I live so we'll see how it goes. Here's uh, the sprue with the bodywork. Body uh, it's already red, so, <laughs> but I'll be painting it nonetheless. The wheels are looking uh, very good as well. There's even detailed the uh, the air valves there. Here's the uh, back of the seat. Yeah, this thing is looking really good. Uh, I never built anything uh, at this scale, um, so uh, I'm I'm really looking forward to it. It's gonna be a challenge, but I'll enjoy it. Also, you got your clear parts here. Uh, there's the cowling. It's a little bit thick, but I mean that's expe expected. Uh, it's it is a model. I've seen people actually make their own uh, cowlings, but I probably skip that. We'll see. Uh, a cool feature though is the detail here on the uh, headlamp here. That's look looking really good, and the indicator lights there. And you got all these, uh, as I mentioned before, um, wiring and, uh, and such. And here are the axles that goes through the wheels and a couple of other parts. I believe they connect the engine to the frame as well. So that's a pretty cool thing. You screw them on. Um, yes, yeah, I'm hosing and uh, wiring brake, brake wires and such. I'm not too sure what this is, but... I'll bet I'll find out. Yep, the springs here again. Um, well, they're springy. We'll see how that goes on. The, the transfers are uh, are really good. There's some really good detail on the uh, speedometer and uh, rev counter. Let's see if we can get a little close up of it here. So uh, that that really make the dashboard pop there looking good and of course the uh, the tires my favorite part these are uh, these are pretty cool um, as I said I'm easily impressed uh, let's see if we get it to focus here come on well there you go okay so there's a uh, really good detail on the tires and um, that's really gonna make the the model pop. Yeah, this is about it. I uh, hope you enjoyed uh, watching this video. And uh, as I said at the beginning, um, I'll be doing a um, a build of this one. Well, I'll be putting out parts uh, parts of the build here and there. Uh, so uh, stay tuned, and uh, I'll see you later. Bye bye.